So here we are looking at the first third down of the Dolphins versus Patriots game at the Hard Rock Stadium. The ball is in our 27 yard line. So let's have a look at our offensive formation for this third down. So offensively, we're in trips right, bunch, Z tight. Uh, so we've got trips right at the top of the screen with Ford, Bowden and Shaheen. So Ford is running the shallow cross. Uh, Bowden is running the seam. Um, that turns into an outbreaking route. Shaheen is running the curl. He's going to sit in between the linebackers, breaking at eight yards. Led in the backfield is going to run the flat. Then we've got Hollands at the Z tight, who's going to also run the crossing route. Uh, and we'll notice that he runs over the top and Ford on the other side runs underneath. I hate this formation. It's just tight. It helps the defence. Um, but we run it a lot, so let's have a look to see what the defence are doing to cover it. So defensively, it looks pretty straightforward. It looks like there's cover one across the board. You can see that the two receivers who are up on the line of scrimmage are being pressed. Uh, then working from offensive um, right down, you can see the corners, number one, corner responsibility responsible for number one receiver. This is a little bit of deception because it looks like number 41, who's marked number three, to tour would be responsible for Patrick Laird. However, the defensive end, who I've marked as a DN handily, is the person who uh, is responsible for Laird. So let's have a look to see how that pans out on film. Okay, so now here we are looking at the wide film. We're just going to focus primarily on uh, Laird and the defensive end who's covering him and the deception because pre snap it would look like 41 to Tua is covering Laird. This is 41. Now, uh, on the snap of the ball, everything happens as normal. Tua's pre-snap read is, he knows this is bunch. He knows the roots he's got, and he would suspect that 41 is going to have to navigate all of that. Now, we can see that the defensive end's already opened his hips, has navigated this traffic really well, actually. Um, and Laird's running the flat. Now, Laird runs a really decent route here. The ball's already on its way to from Tua. From Tua. So all of these other routes, you know, are neither here nor there right now because he was deceived by the defence. As it is, it's a good throw on the outside shoulder. It allows Laird to turn up field. Decent play by the defence, hate to say it. Um, but let's just have a look at two other things now. Uh, I just want to look at Shaheen here, who runs his route really well, and he sits in the zone. So he's going to have uh, that curl eight yards there, sits in the zone between... All the defence, you know, he literally cannot be throwing the ball because he's got one, two, three defenders around him. Now, the only other um, the only other player I would like to look at, take it back, is, is look at Bowden. And here we have Bowden, who's got press coverage. Now, because of the coverage, he has an inside release up the field. Uh, still beats the coverage. The guy's trailing him. Actually, with some help, do you see there, there was a natural pick. Two defenders run into each other. Now, this protection's really good. Now, so this route is open. It's just that the defense have shown to her it looks like an easy completion. It turns out not to be. Um, just want him to learn from this for next year. Now, let's have a look at pass pro. O-line versus D-line, then pass pro. So, in terms of pass pro, pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. We've got five offensive linemen, basically against three defensive linemen, uh, on the offensive right, they run a twist. Uh, the nose tackle goes first with the linebacker coming over the top, trying to get into the backside A. And then the play side, 91, is really the contained player. So he needs to get outside pressure or outside contain with Jackson. Um, this is, uh, we'll go through it a little bit after we've looked at Coach's film, wide, uh, Boxer's Coach's film. But this is a great example of where I don't think we were an RPO team. We definitely weren't an RPO team because Tua could have changed and should have changed the play here, in my mind, um, to an inside run play. But again, just stick with me till after Coach's film and we'll have a look at that. So let's go to Coach's film. Okay, so here we are in Coach's film. This We do a good job. We get the ball off pass protection, but just another third down, another blitz from a different team. Uh, twist, sorry, rather than blitz. This defensive tackle is going to go first. He's going to hard step down and then across the face of the guard. Number 50 is going to loop off the back of that. And on the back side, we're just going to see 91 get outside contain. It, nothing uh, groundbreaking. We handle it pretty well. Everyone's square. Good technique. Good push off from Crowers. Just picks up 
number 50 pretty easily. Right now, 91 is on a mission to nowhere. We've got two on one here. Good job. So I said there is an alternate play. Uh, if we're an RPO team, just got to let's talk about that now. So just to wrap up the play, I've already mentioned that I believe there's a better play call. As you know, it was a pass. We passed to Laird on third down. But I believe on this third down, we should have had an inside run. Um, it does suggest that um, we weren't a an RPO team because RPO is all about making the call on the line of the scrimmage. Uh, and we Tua didn't have the ability to change plays on the line of scrimmage. The reason why I think this would work is because we can pick up, we've got 30 front, so three down linebackers and possibly two defenders in the, uh, three down linemen, two defenders in the box, two linebackers in the box. We can get a combination between the center and the right guard on the nose tackle to 41. And on the back side, we've got a combination between the left guard and left tackle on number 491. And we can combo to McCourtney. Now, we just need five yards here. And I think this is a better play based on numbers. But, you know, let's hope that next year with the new coordinators and Tua having a year under his belt, that this is the sort of thing that we can uh, adapt and change on the line of scrimmage and hopefully win some more games. So let's have a look at the next play. But wait, I forgot about the scores again. So I hope you've stuck around for that. Uh, zeros across the board. Everyone did their job. Do you know what? Sometimes defense just beats you, and this was one of those instances. So let's go on. Really, let's go on to the next play. 